sublime task of a new king was to ensure the burial of his predecessor, thereby ensuring order in this world and the afterlife. Kingship was flexible enough to allow a co-regency, where an elder king and a junior partner governed jointly. The king was also known as Pharaoh, a term still used today. It's the Hebrew pronunciation of the ancient Egyptian term per aa, meaning big house. Initially, it referred to the royal estate, but later came to be used for the king himself. Each king had five names forming his titulary, with the throne name and personal name enclosed in a cartouche. Despite unification under the first rulers of Dynasty I, the dual kingship of Upper and Lower Egypt remained, symbolized by the two crowns of Egypt, the white crown of Upper Egypt and the red crown of Lower Egypt. Kings are depicted wearing either crown or the merged double crown. 